Hey, what's up? It's KB here. So I have one bad habit. Whenever I install a new program in my Windows computer, I always go to task manager and go to startup. And from here, I disable that program because it just disables the ability to launch the program whenever I reboot my computer. So you know what's up, okay? You know what this is, but this video is not about this. This video is about me being scammed by Windows 11 or Microsoft. So there is one crazy thing happening right now. My Windows 11 is just going crazy. I don't know if this ever happened to you, but uh, let me tell you what is happening right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to solve this, but you know, I thought it's going to be fun video to make. So you can see in my startup, there is a Skype, which I never installed. And I know Microsoft has this, you know, pre-installed applications thingy installed on our Windows 10, 11. So I get it okay but i don't want to use it i don't want to disable this from here i just want to uninstall this so when i saw this i was like okay i never use skype so i'm just gonna uninstall this so i'm gonna go search skype and you can see it's not listed here so i, I was like oh, okay maybe there is something wrong so i'm gonna go to the uninstaller add and remove so i'm gonna find it here skype and uh, you can see the skype is not here Mm, okay and another crazy thing is that even if this is not in my system installed i can't find it i can't uninstall it it's actually running so you can see skype is running which is not installed in my computer so what the heck is happening microsoft are you trying to scam me or maybe my windows 11 is broken or something but this is crazy check your if you don't use Skype, check your uh, startup, see if the Skype is there and check your program list if the Skype is there or not. So actually you can go right click on the Skype thingy and after that you can go open file location and actually you will see a Skype here and it's a Skype package. <laughs> okay, but it's not installed, but still it's running and it's consuming uh, lots of CPU. You can see it says uh, startup impact high. It's making my computer slow, okay? So since I can't uninstall this, I think this is the way to uninstall this. First, we're gonna have to install this, okay? Let's try that. I installed a Skype. Let's open it. I'm not gonna sign in. I don't use it, okay? And now let's uninstall this. Okay, done. And uh, now the Skype is still here. What the hell is this? Is this the different Skype? Hello, Microsoft. I need tech support right now. What is happening? What Skype is this? Wow. This is a scam. <laughs> really? What do I do now? Should I delete it? Can I? Uh, let me let me actually. It's like 93 megabyte. I don't want to use it. Let me uninstall it. Actually, let me try to do this. Where is the wise program uninstaller? Skype. Wow. No, it's not here. So what do I do? I don't want to use Skype. I don't want to see the Skype here, which is not installed. Maybe it's the other version of the Skype, I guess. Even if I try to run the thingy that I get it from here, um, open, see, I'm trying to open this, but it's not opening. So what the hell is happening here? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to install the this skype okay let's see if this fixes the issue <laughs> all right there was a time when i used to use the skype okay this is my id please add me i'm good <laughs> okay so what do we do now okay now we have two skypes microsoft 
I think this is the one we installed. Yep, this is the one we installed. And this is the one that is stuck here. I think we can just delete the folder and hopefully it will fix the issue. Uh, okay, I have, I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna uninstall this first. Okay, this is the Skype that we installed right now. But I wanna uninstall this one. <laughs> okay, I think I, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, that one is gone. Now, thanks to this program, I'm gonna do a custom uninstall. Let's see. I think I'm very close to that. Microsoft Skype. Hopefully it will work. Otherwise, I, I have to, I have to contact Microsoft about this. And I, I don't get it. I installed a store version of the Skype and uninstalled it. Didn't work. I installed the regular version of the Skype. Didn't work. So maybe it's special or I'm just, maybe I'm, my PC is broken. <laughs> okay, found it. Okay, this is the Skype. Okay, next, remove, continue. Uh, uh, select all, okay, removing. Hopefully, <laughs> it will work, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see what our, wow, <laughs> okay, I fixed it, but I don't get it. What version of that Skype was like, I don't get it. Wow, if you have this issue, I mean, I didn't meant to use this program, which I recently made a video on this program too, but actually it turned out very uh, useful program, <laughs> okay. Yeah, check your uh, Windows 11 computer. Maybe in even in Windows 10 is the same thing. Okay, check the startup, check the processes. If you don't want or you don't have a Skype, but it's running, maybe maybe this is this is how you can fix the issue. Actually, <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I I never faced uh, this kind of an issue before, but uh, yeah. That's it. This was just a video uh, to show you guys that my Windows 11 is not Windows 11. It's the stupid 11. I'm being scammed here. Yes, sir. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, yeah, for now, have fun and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.